Legal trouble is growing tonight for Buffalo Police Officer Corey Krug. Here he is walking into court today, ready to face more federal charges. Krug was indicted by a federal grand jury for violating civil rights, in addition to filing a false report. The new charges he's facing today are related to a 2010 incident. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Dranch here now with highlights from the courtroom. And Joanna, there are two different cases here with two different charges of excessive force. Corey Krug answered to all of the charges charges today pleading not guilty to all of them. Suspended Buffalo police officer Corey Krug walked into federal court holding his wife's hand. Mr. Krug, is there anything you want to say? He was quiet, knowing anything he said would be used in the prosecution against him on two counts of excessive force. Obviously, police officers have the right and duty to apprehend a subject um, and use whatever force is appropriate. However, you can go beyond that line and, and bec it becomes excessive. The government claims Krug crossed that line on two separate occasions. First, in 2010, when Marcus Worthy claimed Krug repeatedly hit him in the head with a flashlight while he was in handcuffs. Krug's attorney Terry Connors questions the validity of that case five years later. There are issues that automatically arise. Um, what are the witnesses' memories like? Who's available to provide information for either side? It's a very difficult thing to recreate. The other case may not be as difficult to recreate. <laughs> The altercation was recorded exclusively by a 7 Eyewitness News photographer early last Thanksgiving morning. Krug is seen hitting a man on the ground with his baton before letting him go without arrest. Well, I think the videotape actually helps us. I think there's several aspects of the videotape that demonstrate in large measure what our defense will be. Connors would not say how he will defend Krug's actions, but the government explains video gives more credibility to this case. He used his position as a police officer uh, and took advantage of that to be able to uh, use force on an individual uh, beyond what was necessary. Krug is due back in court next month for a hearing on the Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving video case. Rather, He was released without bail today. Coming up new at 6, fireworks inside the courtroom as the judge admonishes the government for its delay in bringing charges. Edge Ranch, 7 Eyewitness News.